So two questions for today's kind of like theorycraft-esque video, and it's that A, if marksmen left the game all together, what kind of compositions do you expect to see in the game? And then B, if marksmen didn't leave the game but left the bot lane and went to a solo lane, how do you think that would work? In which case, in my opinion, I'm a little bit biased because I don't agree with the argument that marksmen can't be played in a solo lane. I do think they have a bit of a harder time with magic damage dealers though, so something like LeBlanc or Bran or something would bully AD carries around because AD carries don't scale magic resist. So the thing there is, do you retool them a little bit that you do give mat if they end up in a solo lane, the meta changes that much, do you give them magic resist? Do you give them scaling magic resist? Obviously not a lot because you still want to be able to counter them and be able to kill them, that's part of their weaknesses for having such high damage and DPS which doesn't have, you know, cooldown. Or do you find a way to keep him in the bot lane, which is kind of iffy, some people kind of, more than ever, other roles don't want Marksman in the bot lane anymore. Like before, Marksman would just be the ones complaining about how, like, weak they are. Now other roles are like, we just don't want to, we just don't want to play another season and having to use a bunch of resources to peel for one champion that then will still die no matter how fed they are. And I can get that argument, actually. I honestly can get that argument. I've, I've been playing other roles in the preseason just to see what it's kind of like. And it's, a, it's not maybe super annoying when I'm Maokai. Maokai, I just sit on my carry's face, and they never die, and then that's perfect. But beyond that, like, other tanks, they don't really have it that easy as Maokai does. Um, so it is a little bit difficult and a little bit annoying knowing that even if I use all this peel, they might still die anyway. Okay. But what do you think the game would look like if the meta shifted in both of those directions? Now again, like I said, I'm a little bit biased. I want those carries to kind of stay in the game in some capacity because I only play the game to play those carries. I don't play those carries because I happen to play the game. So if they left, I wouldn't play the game, or at least I played a lot less. So I want them to stay, but I wonder what it would be like if they go to a different solo lane. I, I, it, it is interesting. It is interesting. It does pique my interest a little bit. It is different from the norm, but it, it is a little bit interesting. Sure. But that's all for this video. In the comment section, let's have a conversation about these topics. But thank you for watching this video if you did watch this far. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe as well. I don't know which video will be next because life can be quite a mess. So until next time, take care from the Fargo Die FS.